And then she started saying that her daughter had issues with me over the hotel, over the uh, closeness that we were involved in the hotel, which frankly was bullshit. I still to this day sitting here, I don't know that this woman was totally scamming me. I don't know that she didn't have some feelings for me, but I can tell you this, regardless of which they were, she's either a professional scammer or she needs some mental help or perhaps both. What other monies have you paid her <laughs> over the time that you've known her? I was waiting for that question. I would say in total, uh, probably $7,500 in total. And how much money did you spend communicating with her online on this notorious scamming site? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I, I actually hate to admit it, but I, you know, I, I probably have the figures back at home because I'm a meticulous note taker, but I would say approximately $10,000. I'm sitting with a lost sheep, is usually what I call them, uh, that <laughs> reached out to me in Kiev. But in this case, I'm going to call Jimbo a lost wolf. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Sure. Nice to meet you. Before we get into this, Jim, I, I just want to summarize for guys uh, and ask, you know, maybe share a little bit about yourself, uh, what you do for a living, you know, your, 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 your history. Uh, because I want guys to see that even though you've been scammed to the tune of, what'd you say, all in 15 grand? Yeah, plus or minus, probably a little more than that, yeah. yeah. So by one woman on a notorious dating, scamming dating site, I want guys to see that this can happen to you too. If it can happen to him, it can happen to you. Because you, you, you're looking at a very uh, accomplished, sophisticated, well-educated, intelligent gentleman. So uh, yeah, take it away, Jim. Well, I was, uh, I was born in Texas. I was reared in West Virginia and I was schooled in Louisiana. Um, I have a mineral management and geology degree. I was an independent contractor for about 15 years in the oil and gas business. I then took an in-house corporate position where I was vice president of a publicly traded oil and gas company. I then formed my own company. We operated for approximately 19 years. Um, I have not myself personally worked uh, for the last 11 years. Uh, so I'm financially stable. I'm not gonna say I'm rich, but I'm financially stable. I have literally traveled the world in my lifetime much before I was the age of 35. So, uh, Jim, I'm going to ask you to share your your story, how you met this lady, how you fell in love with her. Did you fall in love? I'm not going to tell you that I loved her, but I certainly felt that I could have a, a long or at least ongoing relationship with her that I felt could turn into love. You know, it's good to hear you say that you weren't in love because, you know, I sit with a lot of guys and they say, yeah, I was in love with this girl that they, they only met online. So it just, it just shows myself and everyone that you're psychologically stable, you know? <laughs> you're, you're not one of the pie in the skies guys that fall in love online. This lady, actually, you met her on one of the big notorious scam sites. We'll leave it there. Yes, I did. Yes. Uh, and uh, she came to Kiev and met with you last trip, correct? Correct, in May of this year. And, and let me ask you just you know, succinctly, how did that first meeting go? Well, the first day uh, we had arranged a translator because I speak six words of Russian, uh, which let me uh, touch on that. I asked her initially when we became involved, if I'm going to pursue you and this, should I speak Rus learn Russian or should I speak Ukraine? And she said Russian without hesitation. So anyway, and she speaks no English, we uh, retained a, a translator. They met me on my f second day here in May. Can I ask, was the translator arranged through this notorious scamming site? Not through the site, but through the woman herself. Okay, and what was the translator fee, dollars per hour? Uh, 20, $20 per hour, which 
I did a little bit of research and it seemed to be eh, somewhat in line. I'm not saying that you can't pay less, but it seemed reasonable. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, normal. it seemed reasonable. But we were together actually for four days from noon until midnight, four days in a row. On the translator clock at On 20 bucks an hour. Translator clock plus you pay for the translator's meals. So when you're with someone for 12 hours a day, you're going to eat at least lunch and dinner and maybe a snack or at least coffee throughout the day so i think you can see it adds up very quickly and uh, can i ask you what uh, what is her age and your age uh i'm 59 and she was 49 she is 49. so a very healthy 10-year age gap no yeah. no problem there no problem at all none uh, whatsoever so then what happened jim um you went home for how long and you came back this time and p paint a little bit uh, the picture uh, of the details okay there was roughly six months between my trip in may and my return o october 31st during that time as i said earlier uh, i continued to do research i continued to be skeptic of this individual uh, by now, I had totally left the site. That was part of my requirement in May to her was I would no longer communicate with her on the site because of the costs involved, but I would be happy to uh, continue to communicate with her via Viber, and I even gave her a Apple tablet in order to do so. And over the next six months, we communicated strictly on Viber. So you guys communicated for six months. Uh, was it daily or how often was it? Daily. I would say in the six month period, I could ha count on one hand the number of days that we did not at least chat for two minutes or more. When I came back, uh, actually setting up the the return visit uh number one she said she did not have money to get to kiev okay so i wired her an amount of money that she said was necessary for her to hire a car um, she said that her daughter needed a little bit of medical attention i invited her to bring her daughter uh, who's 23 years old not a child and then she said well unlike our my first visit with you in may where i had a place to stay with distant relatives that option is no longer available and i said no problem i will book you a room in my hotel which i did separate room yeah separate room so can i ask you how much money did you wire her and it was it western union or how did you send it to her i wired it to her western union and it was fifteen hundred dollars Fifteen hundred dollars, and that was to get her from Donbass to Kiev to, to meet with you. Correct. And her daughter. And her daughter, yes. I gave her the dates that I was planning on coming, and she said, "Book your flight." So I booked my flight. She contacted me and said, "We cannot get a driver for three days after that." I said, "No problem. You come when you can. I'll hope to see you on." It was, I think, a Sunday. Well, that evening or early evening. I hear uh, a knock at the door and there she is with her daughter. Everybody's smiling, everybody's happy. They said that they were very tired from the, the journey and I said, no problem. We ordered uh, dinner in their room. Everything was wonderful. They sat in their bathrobes while we ate dinner and talked and listened to music. And I went to bed and they went to bed and the next morning uh, we were off on a, on a journey with uh, a translator, the daughter, and the, the woman herself. Had a wonderful day. Uh, went back to the hotel. Uh, I told her I would not disturb her or her daughter that evening. She contacted me and said, please uh, come to our room. You know, if you're bored, we can visit, which I did. Again, we had a wonderful visit. Everything seemed to be fine. And um, the next day, uh, we met again with the translator, this time without the daughter. We spent the day walking uh, Kiev. It was a beautiful winter 
day we walked around the sites at night and went to dinner that evening and that's where everything began to unravel so over dinner and wine with the translator and the woman she looked me dead in the eye and said ask me questions what do you want to know and i said well i think if you you maybe have noticed in the six months since i've been here i have backed up quite a bit um, become a little more cautious i am skeptical but i am also hopeful and she proceeded to tell me that she's seeking a man uh, that she liked me but she was not ready to make commitment went on and I, I can't recall everything that she said but there wasn't a whole lot of poly positive energy behind what she was telling me well I was becoming distraught and then she started saying that her daughter had issues with me over the hotel over the uh, closeness that we were involved in the hotel which frankly was bullshit um, actually I spoke briefly with the translator without the presence of the woman and the translator said a few things to me uh, that were very cautious and she just basically said Jim I think you have a problem here I'm getting a really bad feeling from this woman and if nothing else I think if she is being honest with you she needs therapy <laughs> because she had tried to talk to her and convince her that nothing was wrong that everything was okay and I don't know what the trigger was and it angered me very much and I stood up, I left the restaurant, walked outside, words were thrown back and forth and bless the, the translator, she's trying to keep up with me in English and with the woman in Russian while we're in a heated discussion which is very difficult so I was only listening or hearing a portion of what the translator was saying. We get back to the hotel room, uh, the woman says we're going to leave by now it's three o'clock in the morning uh, for Christ's sakes and I finally went fine leave there's the door I slammed the door went back to my room end of story I have not contacted her nor she I since that day that evening I still to this day sitting here I don't know that this woman was totally scamming me I don't know that she didn't have some feelings for me but I can tell you this regardless of which they were she's either a professional scammer or she needs some mental help or perhaps both I, I just don't know what other monies have you paid her <laughs> <laughs> over the time that you've known her I was waiting for that question I would say in total uh, probably $7,500 in total. And how much money did you spend communicating with her online on this notorious scamming site? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I actually hate to admit it, but I, you know, I, I probably have the figures back at home because I'm a meticulous note taker, but I would say approximately $10,000. So $10,000 PPL uh, video or just chatting or? Uh, video, chatting, and uh, paper letter. And what time of day or night in Ukraine was she chatting with you, either chat or video? 24-7. It seemed like every time I would get online to look for her, she was there. But it didn't matter. Uh, I, I don't sleep much, <laughs> unfortunately, and it could be morning in the United States it could be noon in the United States it could be three o'clock in the morning in the United States and it seemed like every time I reached out to her to communicate she responded you see guys how difficult now it is to figure out whether you're being scammed or not I've lived in Ukraine for almost four years and just now I've put it together at least in my mind that sorry but 
it doesn't seem too legitimate. Now, just with this last piece of information, the amount of money, the fact that you were communicating online to the tune of $10,000, and the worst evidence in this situation in my mind is that she's available 24-7. That was the biggest of all the red flags that I heard. Did you have any um, inkling that it was uh, several people you were communicating with, i.e. you told her something and now the person you're chatting with it, it doesn't remember or the story changed a little bit or anything like that because this is notorious where it's not her. Well, I, I did at first and through some of the videos I watched uh, by Match Guarantee, you know, the light bulb went on. Yet when I first came here in May, and again, we had been chatting on a notorious site January to May, I would ask her questions about things that we chatted about and she knew the answer, which made me think, is this just uh, an unusual situation where I happen to find a legitimate person on a notorious site because the woman remembered every detail. Now. I can't tell you whether that was actually because she was chatting with me or perhaps the notorious dating site would provide her transcript or notes of the chat who I was actually chatting with. I, I don't know. I don't know the answer. These ladies are used in this industry. Uh, it, it's actually the sites that are the biggest culprits, not, not the women. Uh, the women are largely victims too. There's a lot of identity fraud even where the girl comes in for a free photo shoot and it's not even her you're chatting with it's just uh, her picture uh, and you're chatting with a tr translator which is really scammer is a better word for translator so uh, you know you're right and guys just be educated by this video be weary uh, stay the fuck offline <laughs> and come to Ukraine. I couldn't agree more. I could not agree more. <laughs> even if you're not gonna, <laughs> even if you're not gonna work with an agency, just come here uh, and you know ah. tr try to talk to the ladies off the street. You're better off sinking your money into that. Regardless, company. have an open mind and uh, be careful. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Be careful, guys. Take care. Good luck. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one, Ukraine a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.